Hey guys, welcome back to Tony Zatus. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use NordPass Password Manager. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, the first thing we need to do here is we need to go to the official website for NordPass, which is nordpass.com. Now, once in their website, we first need to view their pricing. In this case, let's go to our pricing page here by clicking on pricing. And from here, you have two options. So you have business as well as personal and family. Now for a business, this is typically for uh, bundled users or for a company. So you have teams, business, and enterprise. Now, each of the plan that you are, are going to try use here are has different a type of perks like for example for the business plan for under business you have 5 to 250 users we also have the uh, teams here which is 10 user pack and enterprise is uh, around unlimited users now depending on the plan that you get here you will be able to uh, get the following options like for example for the teams here you don't have security dashboard and professional support available but for business you have security password uh, dashboard and enterprise you have a security dashboard as well as professional support as well but you also have the personal and family option here which includes premium which is 1.19 per month in this case you also have family here which is 2.7 a month and we also have the free version here which is free for lifetime in this case we want to use the free one here which includes one user and no credit cards required and you have the option to auto save auto fill store password pass keys and credit cards let's go ahead and click on get started now we just need to enter our email here let's go ahead and provide our email and just click on get started now this will actually send an email to our account so in this case it's going to give us the option to uh basically install it so in this case it's going to redirect us into the extension for our browser just click on add to chrome click on add extension and that should actually add the extension download the extension and install it into our browser now once it's actually installed you now have the option to create your account Let's go ahead and click on create account here. And from here, what we need to do next is we need to provide all the details required. So in this case, you have the option to add your email, or if you want to use your already existing Google account, you can go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and click on sign up with Google, since I want to use my Google account here, but you could also use your Apple account if you want to. And now we need to set a master password. In this case, make sure that a master password here is actually really, really secure because this will actually be used to unlock all of your passwords. So make sure that it's actually secure. It's at least 12 characters long. It contains numbers and even symbols. In this case, let's go ahead and enter our master password. Now, the next page is going to ask you to confirm your master password. Let's go ahead and enter that. Now, if this is the first uh, first time that you're opening up NordPass here, it's going to ask you to do a few, uh, few things here. Like, for example, importing items like files or existing password into NordPass or even adding your first password here. So for now, I'm going to skip this one because we'll be discussing those features later on. This case is going to welcome you into NordPass and some details here that you could actually uh, use, like identifiable variable passwords and a lot more. So let's go ahead and close this one. Now, in this case, this is the first UI that you'll be seeing on NordPass here. So we'll be discussing the UI itself. Now, to top left, you have your user. So that includes your um, you, uh, name here, your uh, current uh, trial or your current uh, subscription. You also have the switch account. So if you want to switch over to a different account, if you want to invite a friend, just click on invite a friend here. And you could even lock, lock the app or lock out. Now, you also have the notification section, which in this case, you'll be able to uh, view some notifications from NordPass. If you click on settings, you can change a few things. Like for example, your email, your uh, trial here, you can invite friends. And you also have security here, like for example, changing your master password, unlocking your Windows hello, and get recovery code and multi-factor authentication if you want to allow those. You also have the auto lock here, which includes one week. So in this case, it will actually choose a period of device, uh, chosen period of device inactivity. It's going to automatically lock the app itself. So I have the clear copied item data here. So if the, in this case, it's going to automatically clear copied item details from clear, uh, clipboard. Now, in this case, now we now need to go to our items. Now, by the way, you could also create, like, for example, folders if you want to organize, like, different uh, of the items that you have right now. So, for example, this is going to be a secret folder. So, that's just to give you an idea, let's go ahead and click on save here. And from here, we now have our secret folder. 
In this case, within that folder, you could add items. So if you want to really organize like certain items into groups, you could go ahead and do that and basically organize them in folders. Now, in this case, if you, for you to add items, uh, the same thing that you need to do here is just need, you just need to click on add item. Now for now, let's go to all items first and we want to actually add item via that uh, page. Now, how do we add an item? So let's go and click on add item here and you have the option to either add a password, a secure note. So a secure note are for, like for example, you want to save your Wi-Fi password, your passkey or any type of uh, secure or any sensitive data you want to uh, secure. You also have a credit card here, like from the name itself, your credit card and even your personal info. So for now, let's go and choose password. In this case, we want to, maybe I want to say this is going to be for Facebook. Let's go choose facebook.com here. Now we want to enter our email here. So for example, I'm going to uh, enter a email sample as well. And from here, we now need to enter our password. So for example, this is going to be my password. Now, if you want to, like for example, you're just creating an account first for the very first time, you can even generate a password for you. So if you click on generate password here, it will have the option to have that password, copy it, or even regenerate it if you want. You can change a few aspects on it, like for example, cast characters or words. So depending on what you want to use, you can even choose the length for it, the capitalization, the digits if you want a lot of even symbols if you want to. Now I could even view the history. So if there are going to be some generations I could view, so that will be able to, uh, so you will be able to uh, see your generated passwords in this window here. Now in this case, let's go and exit this one. Now in this case, it's also going to show you how strong your password here, the website itself. If you also want to add a different website for it, you could go ahead and add another one. So if you're using like multiple emails on one website, so, but again, it's suggested that you use different passwords for different websites. Now you also have the option to add custom fields on it. Like for example, you wanna add a text field or a hidden text, you can even add them and the field name. Like for example, I just wanna add a test field here, click on save. As you can see, we now have a test field and you could go ahead and just add like whatever information you wanna include here as well. If you want to delete, just click on the three dot icon here, click on delete. Now, if you want to add this into folders, you could go ahead and select the folder option here, click on secret folder. And you also have the option to add notes if you want to. Now in this case, uh, what we need to do to complete this one is click on save and that should save our item. In this case, by default, you should be able to see it. But in this case, in the all items, you should be able to uh, basically view it in this section here. Now, if you want to uh, basically uh, do other things on it, like for example, copy the email or copy your, your uh, username here, you can just click on the three dot icon here. You can even copy the password, move to a folder or remove from folder if you want to. If you want to edit it, just click edit attach files, or even share this to uh, specific people, even the password history if you want to view it, or if there are any changes. And if you want to delete this, just move to trash. Now, if you click on it, you should be able to see the general information in it. Again, again the username, password, password health, website address, and folder. Now, if you want to attach files, you have the option to do that. So if you want to attach files or a secret files that is associated to that, you can go ahead and do that as well in here. So how actually have the more option here again, like what we saw before, these are the options that we were able to view. Now, if you want to edit it, just click on edit at the top, right? Now, in this case, you also have the option to select multiple items if you want to. So you can even share multiple items, move multiple items into folders, even delete multiple items once you've selected them in the left section here. Now, if you go to password, uh, you should be able to see all the passwords you have. If you go to passkeys, you should be able to see all the pa passkeys that you have. Now, if you added secure notes, you'll be able to see your secure notes here. If you go to all items, so let's go click on add item again, and maybe you wanna add a secure note instead. And let's just say it is going to be a test note. Now, in this case, we want to say it is going to be a testing. And from here, you could even add, like for example, custom fields if you want to. Let's go and click on save. And we now have a uh, note here. So this is going to be our secure node and our secure node is going to be a testing. The name itself is test node. Now again, when we go to the secure notes, they should now appear in here. Now, if you added a card, your card should appear here and personal info, you know, this is where they'll be appearing if you added your personal info. Now in the shared items, you'll be, you'll be able to track where you shared those specific items I have. Like for example, if you wanna share this note here to someone, Let's go ahead and select the check next checkbox next to it, share the item itself, 
and maybe I want to say I want to share this to a specific email address I have right now and from here let's go ahead and click on share so uh, in this case all you need to change this to a different one so you can share this through yourself so for example I want to share this to this person here from here let's go ahead and click on share now that would actually share that to you uh, that would actually share that to a specific email here in this case you could change the uh, permission like can share can edit or just can view by default now, in this case, when we go to shared items, it should now appear in here and you should be able to uh, manage them. So if in this kind of full, you could go and click on the share grid option and you can basically remove the access if you want to as well. Now, in this case, if you go to folders, you should be able to view the items that we just added as well as other tools so you can access here like password generator here, email masking, uh, password health, data breach scanner, and emergency access. So for now, those are the basics that you could access here and the beginner tips that we could give you for NordPass password manager. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.